Hey everyone, Michael here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I want to do a quick trade breakdown on one of the trades that I called out on Friday for gold in my Discord group. And hopefully going through this trade breakdown, it will help you with your entries and trading plan as well, trading in the New York session. So heading over to my chart right here, we're on gold on four hour time frame. But before we talk about the trade that I entered, I want to give you a quick example of what we want to look for. So just a simple model where we see that there's accumulation going on and then manipulation and distribution. And that's what we saw right here. Accumulation over here manipulation distribution and basically the south side liquidity was taken before hitting up to the buy side liquidity and then it reversed as you can see right here is our south side liquidity and then our buy side liquidity over here And at the same time, we can also mark out our kill zone session, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. right here. Okay. So the trade that we took was in between this time zone. Now on the four hour time zone, we can see that there is a supply order block over here. So we can mark that out. And you can see price tapped into our supply order block. And we also have a fair value gap here that we can actually draw out as well. Once price tapped into our supply order block, we can head down to our lower time frame to get more idea on what's going on. As you can see, once it tapped into our supply order block, we had this rejection. And once we have this rejection, we can look for possible entries. At the same time, we can even draw out our volume profile it's right here so when the price goes down and come back we can basically get in in this area but we want to see how the price rejects and comes back so heading down to our five minute We can see that there is a market shift over here. And during the first market shift, of course, if you enter here, it's very risky. So what we want to do is look for a market shift and then wait for the price to come into our premium level to take our position. Fifty percent is right here. We want to take our position above the fifty percent. Okay, and there's multiple confluence here as well. If you drew out this fib over here on the down leg, you can see price tapped into our golden zone and also above our 50% and also our volume profile. So there's a lot of confluence telling you the price is going down. So what we did is we took a sell position over here and we can target all the way down to our fair value gap and take profit along the way. Our stops don't even have to be that large. It can be just on the swing high over here. And then that was our trade. It was a really nice trade that closed out at 55 pips, but it actually ran 
to 64, 65 pips. All right. So that was one of the trades I would call on Friday. And this is what I like to do when I take my trades. I like to stack the confluence. I want to know where the liquidity is being taken out and the time on when I'm taking my trades as well. That's very important. So hopefully this video gives you an idea on how you can break down your trades and take your entry as well. And you shouldn't force anything and don't be impulsive in taking your entry. Always wait for the right confirmation before getting in. So even if you missed the first entry, there's multiple chances for you to get in. Price came back here, you can get in here. Price came back here, you can get in here as well. So once you see confirmation on higher time frame, you want to head down to the lower time frame to look for possible entries. And when you have all the confluence in place, the trade will give you a higher probability for a winning trade. So hopefully this video was insightful and you learned something. And if you enjoyed the content, give me a like and comment and subscribe for future notifications as well when I drop new videos. With that, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.